Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Cave. Today we're going to do the Hillbillies level. I think I'll name this episode Hunka Hunka Burn in Love. Or something like that. It's not com oh. Went a little too fast there. So we're at the carnival. This, this definitely has some of the most esoteric puzzles in the game. Kind of showcases the point and click style adventure that I'm really not good at. I'm really glad I did a playthrough before uh, recording, or this would be a really long series of me screwing up and screaming in rage. So we're gonna get a little bit of voice work. This is the two amazing two-legged lady. The pink bear hanging in that prize booth looks remarkably like what the amazing two-legged lady desires most. Perhaps the hillbilly can win enough tickets to buy it for her. Then so, this adorable story can have its happy ending. So that is basically the premise behind this level. We're going to try to get tickets. So we got one for free. And we have our general test your strength. So we'll give it a little test. Obviously we're not strong enough, so we're going to have to find a bigger mallet. Got our dunking booth. And we're just going to trigger that. Get the easy ones out of the way. And well, you'll see what I mean when I mention that some of these puzzles are just... I don't know, maybe I'm stupid. That's probably what it is, but... We, ha we had to use the hillbilly for the dunking booth, or they would have drowned and died, so... So you also get another cave painting. Arriving at work. People have to work in the future. Don't I know it? Alright. So we're going to grab the ticket, and then we're going to rush that off real quick. We're actually going to leave our time traveler down here and take our hillbilly up. And you'll see kind of the generic style of what we're going to have to do here. In there, you can already see one of the puzzles. And like I said, the controls are sometimes a pain. So Step right see. up and have your weight gear. So yep, if another I'm one wrong, that we have. Ticket redeemable for a prize you desire is the most. Weight. Your weight is Machine. exactly one hundred seventy five. Right this game is rigged. In. You lose. Just like every carnival. I remember going to the carnival when I was a little kid down in uh, Ohio, way back when. Wrong ladder. I didn't have a very fun time. Hot, humid, sticky. I never understood the uh, the appeal of the fair. It smells like animal and vomit. The games are rigged. No one wins anything. So you can see our sledgehammer there that we're gonna need. You can see a crackling outlet. So we're gonna let our hillbilly stay here, and then we're going to use our other two companions to figure out the rest of this. Ugly or handsome, I can guess you're waiting. I'm never wrong. He isn't. And we also have the magician. Magnifico the Magnificent will now dazzle your mind with the most amazing disappearing act ever performed. Pay close attention to the cupcake on the pedestal. By the dark powers invested in me, by the county of Rutherford, and the surrounding unincorporated areas, I pronounce you disappeared! I love it. The, the, voice, the voice work in this level alone is worth it. But it's, it's also just a really well-made level. So we also have our fortune taker. And that's, that's, that will encompass the most annoying of the... Uh, puzzles that we'll have to do it took me forever to figure out what was going on there but I'll explain that when we get to it there's quite a little quite a bit more to go vain or humble you can't hide your true weight from me hoping that we can uh, finish this all in one episode the next ep the next uh, quest will be a cave specific when everyone does it 
and it's pretty pretty quick when you know what you're doing, but we'll see. So we're gonna take our monk, and we're gonna turn off the power, which will let him. Uh, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh, maybe I did. Okay. So we're gonna get on here. We turned off the power so that we could get on the merry-go-round. We'll also collect ourselves a cave painting. So, obviously our monk is not the greatest spiritualist. Is that, is that the term that they use? I'm not sure. So we don't have any items to get this, but if we shut off the power, we can come here and get the fuse. And I'll turn that back on to let us get down safely. I think. Oh, I, I turned off the power. That was my bad. Okay. So now that we have the fuse, we have a lot of things that we can do. I really like how they lampoon a lot of this stuff. The exotic clothes dancers. So the sledgehammer is behind these guys. So we're going to come up here. And obviously we can't put that in because there's water there and it'll electrocute us. So we got our sledgehammer. And we will need to go back and get that fuse here sooner or later. Sooner rather than later. So I guess this is kind of a walkthrough, let's play, showcasing of a game that I, I think already in the beginning of the year is my all-time, one of my all-time favorite games of the year. The writing is good, the graphics are great. No, no complaints to this game. At all. So two more. We will move our monk to one of the two. Yeah, the, the next two puzzles really, really gave me a hard time. I can't even, can't even put it into words. So, this will probably, we'll probably do this Wheel of Misfortune. Like I said, they Take kind of make a joke. Lady luck. Spin so the no matter what color we choose, color. we're never going to get right, it right. You win a ticket. Green. Better luck next time. So we are going to keep our hillbilly there. And then we're going to finish the Guess Your Weight Challenge. And th this one gave me... I, I knew kind of what I needed to do at first, but I didn't know about what this back, by popular demand, magnificent the magnificent will perform an encore doing. of his world-renowned disappearing act. Christo Magnifico! Thank you, thank you. Please hold your applause. So he has made the barbell disappear, but he didn't actually make it teleport. He just made it disappear. So it's still Better in our hand. I can guess your weight within zero pounds. So he always guesses correctly, but it's based on what he can see. So my best guess is oh. two hundred forty four. Right again. I did that. You too lose. Slow. So you'll see. You see what I need to do. You'd think someone of my talent would be performing in Vegas and not at county carnivals. Well, you'd be wrong. No, I'm not bitter. Keep your eye on the pedestal. Bam! Now it's gone. I need a new edge. I also am glad that we got to listen to a bit of that because it's really funny. Magnif Magnifico the Magnificent. I hope you're not looking to win a ticket. I've been your weight is exactly okay. one of the best 194. I win again. Hey. Now that's not possible. I always guess right. This carnival game is now closed while we investigate the tampering with our tampering. Please leave. Like I said, the writing, the searching for this level, I'm glad I, I picked the hillbilly again instead of a, one of the people that I didn't get to, didn't play the lat, my first playthrough. Because the writing was just so good. Perfect. I just can't even put it in, into words how amusing it is. So we have one more. I think we're going to do this all in one episode. So 
So the fortune teller is going to be the main way we're going to figure out this Wheel of Misfortune. And you'll see what I mean here in a second. So we're going to go back and get that fuse. As you can see, the fuse box is empty. And there's the clothed women. We're gonna turn the wrench, grab the fuse box, and then that's all we're gonna need from the hillbilly up there. But we're gonna keep the wrench. So the power's back. Come and play the color wheel game oh, that was cleared area. of all charges of game rigging by the Carnival Oversight Board three weeks running. Well, they're lying, but that's cool. I tried to binary march it, but I don't actually think it's possible. I don't think you just aren't going to get lucky enough to uh, fix. That. Yes, the color chosen by 100% random. It's not 100%. So we're going to take this fuse and go to Xavier, the mag, uh, the fortune teller. I forget what his full name is. Xavitar, just Xavitar. Okay, so keep your eye on the, the crystal is ball. Is divine. So it's green, so we're going to take our monk. we to pick green and pull the lever. Who would have figured this out? That's and crazy. And the color is green. Despite it being statistically impossible, we have uh, a winner! That was our only ticket, so uh, we're closing down for the night. Get out of here, scram! In a it's triumph of love and teamwork, our friends have managed to lie, cheat, and steal their way to five tickets and a pink bear. Now to snatch the prize and profess our undying love for the two-legged lady. So we got our teddy bear. So we had to go and give it to him. I was trying to... Well, this is not a heartening turn of events. Apparently, what the amazing two-legged lady desires most is a man of ordinary strength. The hillbilly came so close to true love, only sure to have did. it snatched away by a rival who couldn't lift his own shadow if it went on a diet. That means, and you can see we actually have a fire risk. The fire risk is high. So, we need one more ticket, which we're going to steal from a, that little kid again. We'll use the monk for this part. I'm not sure taking up smoking is the right cure for a broken heart. But I don't think it that is, is the hillbilly's plan. Is this really the path he wants to go down? Yep. <laughs> so we are going to go back to the dunking booth. Oop, if I didn't take a wrong turn. And you'll see why I'm going to name this hunk of burn in love here real soon. Things are about to get hot. So we're going to get our hillbilly. Most of the time in this game is spent getting people from place to place. So we're going to hit the Dunkin' booth, take our hillbilly. And then we'll let the voiceover go. There's nothing down, down below if I remember properly. But there is another cave painting, I think, back here. Yeah. So we're going to get that. So the hillbilly's working a neglected child. All right, and then we're gonna come over here. I'm going to turn this, go to the monk. We're gonna burn the hay barrels. The there wise Lord Tennyson penned the line, it's better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. He had clearly never met this group. All right, guys, as we watch the world burn, thanks for watching.